Hi, welcome to NAB 2014. I'm Joe O'Halloran, Editor-in-Chief of the Rathmans TV News, and I'm here with Calvin Harrison, President and CEO of the New Quest. Calvin, welcome to NAB. Uh, welcome, thank you. It's been a momentous year already for the video industry. What shifts are you seeing in the market? Yeah, there's been a lot of shifts this year in video delivery from um, the expansion of over-the-top products like Netflix to uh, Hulu, um, major changes in how people consume the video and how they watch it and when they watch it. Then you've got regulatory changes that have occurred from uh, net neutrality and the ending of net neutrality in North America that uh, also is applicable overseas from do the service providers have the right to charge people to deliver content over their network or not? Um, that's changing business models. We've got the uh, consolidation of MSOs in North America, like Comcast and Time Warner coming together. You've got uh, Liberty Global in Europe doing the same Absolutely. thing, rolling up lots of companies. And then you got the technical shift in just how video is delivered, from linear to adaptive streaming, to these iPads, to these iPhones. And all this is changing at this one time. And uh, it's, it's, the dynamics compared to 10 years ago are, um, it's just major changes that are occurring. So Calvin, given all of this, what's InnoQuest's role in supporting the shift in video com consumption? Yeah, well the great news is, no matter what the delivery mechanism is, InnoQuest has the offering. So we're 12 years old, we started by doing linear broadcast delivery and monitoring. Over the last three to four years, we've been doing adaptive streaming deployment for service providers that are now starting to you know, deliver to tablets and phones. So we have solutions that are in the end for that. If you're now using or are using a third-party CDN that does not belong um, to you, obviously, these are the Akamai's and Limelight's and the Level 3's, we have a cloud monitoring solution that can test and uh, look at the quality of service and the quality of experience on the other side of the cloud. And we go all the way through the endpoint devices, through the mobile core to the edge. So we have, we cover all the different video delivery infrastructure approaches. And then what we do that's unique is we take the different types of video analytics. So we take behavioral analytics and operational analytics. And behavioral tells you who's watching what, when, where, and what they're watching on. And then the operational is what is the quality and how is it working and is it good. You've recently launched a campaign to boost monetization. What does this mean in the quest? For any request, it means helping the service providers move beyond just quality service assurance monitoring to actually being able to take the video analytics that we provide and for them to offer um, more, and be able to make more money from the revenue streams. Anything from, um, imagine having the capability of a customer calls up and they're going to churn, they're going to leave the service. And you look into it real time and find out they're watching only these 10 channels. Maybe you present them a package that says, hey, for 25 US dollars, you get these 10 channels. Um, then they don't leave, and yet you still get a re revenue stream. We help our customers monetize by also doing things like bandwidth reclamation. It saves them money in terms of what's swish, switched and what's broadcast. And even provide the analytics for customers to charge more for targeted ad insertion and or for just advertising in general. So we provide data that says these are the most popular channels from 9 to 12 and 12 to 3 or in prime time and we have customers taking those analytics and charging the advertisers more for those more popular uh, shows. Is this the year where intelligence is applied? Yeah, absolutely. You need that kind of real-time data and it's got to be real-time too, not just uh, trending analytics. Um, real-time to be able to help address any kind of issues that are occurring right then, but real time because people are switching and making decisions quickly and you can't afford to find out you have an upset customer three months later. So with all this in mind, what solutions do you have here at NAB to deliver them? And we actually are demonstrating solutions for all these different deployments. Um, some things that are brand new that we announced is our AMP ASM, AMP being Audience Measurement Platform for Adaptive Streaming. That's the behavioral analytics. We collect information from probes that sit on the edge of a 10 gig CDN or 20 gig CDN or 40 gig CDN. And we also collect analytics from client devices and we feed all these up into um, this, our AMP. AMP tells you per session, per user, who's watching what on an iPad, on an iPhone, um, what the quality of service is, what the quality of experience is, and then back to monetization, you can take that data and even enable real-time bidding um, for advertisers to reach that audience. And we merge those with the operational side as well. It seems to be the year of real-time bidding. Yeah, everything we've seen, there's a lot of real-time bidding that's starting to occur. Um, and it's going to be moving over to the mobile domain as well. And we enable that through our mobile technology, through AMP ASM. And that's actually very exciting. 
and to finally go with if we're here this time next year, how do you see the markets and yourself have changed? Well, we are growing and expanding in many areas. So I described the technology and the areas that we cover. We're continuing to develop and advance solutions in that space. But we've also are going, um, as the market goes to virtualization, the network functions virtualization, our probes have also been virtualized. We've been working with British Telecom on a proof of concept for the network functions virtualization, where we're residing on a cache right here doing active and passive monitoring. We're working with Intel and smart cells on the edge of the network. Uh, these are base stations that have servers and memory and have specific analytics that they're collecting. Um, and we're working with air companies and ourselves. We're building new technology into the core. So we are expanding both how we deliver and the product offerings and uh, capturing more analytics and tying that all together. Well, good luck with that for next year. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Kelvin.